Good morning everyone. This is Linda Sue with Plants for You from the beautiful state of Wisconsin. If this looks familiar to you it's because it is. If you saw my last um, or second last video you'll remember seeing this table that has all my uh, sense of areas. But <clears throat> I have a lot of house plants and I've been trying to figure out how to do this in segments and I think I finally have a plan so this is the wall that separates our living room from our kitchen um, and this you all already did see with the exception of my Hartley philodendron so there she is one of them and one of my favorite plants this used to be a household plant many, many years ago. It was a very common plant. So it wasn't until lately, in the last year, that I developed a new interest in it because it was so common years ago. But now I love them. Okay, so moving along. This up here is our north wall of our living room and <clears throat> I'm trying I really want to get a, a good view for you um, an overview just because as much as I love looking at everybody's plants so many times I find myself wishing that they would back up and show us the whole view at one time. And if I feel that way, then I'm assuming there are others out there that do also. So, this is our north wall. And I'm going to begin up here. We have uh, cathedral ceilings, 14-foot ceilings. This is... Uh, my little plaque. I don't know if you can see it. If it's focused. But it says Grandma's Babysitting Service. And that's been up there for years. And that's where it's going to stay. And then moving along this wall. This is a shelf that my husband built out of leftover flooring that we had for our kitchen. It's red oak. He built it because I made this wall hanging many years ago and I needed something to hang it from. And as always, he never does anything halfway. So he built this beautiful shelf for me, and it's been hanging up there ever since. And the roses are replaced about every year, year and a half. Whenever he buys me roses, I dry them out and replace them because obviously they do get dusty. And there's no way to wash them off. So, he just buys me new ones. Okay. And moving on, underneath this wall hanging is his table, which is, oops, oh my goodness. This is next to his recliner. And this is a lamp that he made when he was in the Navy. I'm going to try and get a close-up of that. I don't know why we have a red hue because there's nothing red about it. But 
these are all layers of different types of wood just another one of his many talents I always tell him he doesn't get recognized and paid what he's worth but then I guess many of us don't okay on to the plants this is a was a bread shelf that was at his mom and dad's house that they are clearing out now and they were going to put it out in the yard for the scrap people and my husband brought it home for me so I could use it for my plants and as you can see hopefully he um, has reinforced the shelving hasn't gotten around to painting that yet we're gonna do that when the weather warms up but on the shelf is my allocation also known as African mask and it's doing really well um, I just recently got the brown tips I'm not sure if it was from underwater or overwatering because it does the same thing but it does have quite a few leaves and as you can see I hope you can see there is a new one back there a new shoot coming up this is my skin daptus pict pictus and I love this plant the leaves are so soft and I know that many of you have this plant and those of you that do know how beautiful the leaves are in person if you don't have this plant I would really highly recommend that you search for it because it's the the video really doesn't do it justice and then above that is our zebra which my husband liked we were at Milliger's and Racine and he liked it so we got it and brought it home we just had it about a month or two now but it's doing pretty good moving down to the second shelf I also picked up this Hoya which is my first Hoya plant it's the Hoya Aruba or Hoya Aruba I'm not quite sure I'm not very familiar with those um, but in the few weeks I've had it it's grown a lot it's a fast grower and as you can see it's got the red leaves coming which I think is just ooh, I really really like it and right now I just have it sitting in this basket planter that my husband found and brought home for me oh and by the way this planter he also found and brought home for me he has such good taste doesn't he and he knows what I like too okay back down to the second shelf I hung that asparagus fern in the back as you can see it's hanging from the back of the top shelf and it's doing pretty good there 
I wasn't sure if it would because I wasn't sure if it would get enough light, but it seems to be thriving, so I'm going to leave it. I'll update you later. And moving on down to my spathophyllum, also known as the peace lily. I don't know um, if any of you remember this plant, but I have it on two other videos. I was desperate for help because I was losing it. I was down to just a few leaves, and they were black. And honestly, I didn't think this plant was going to make it. And now it's healthy. It's got new shoots coming. The leaves are strong. They're shiny again. And I think it's going to make it. And for those of you that don't know, that was a big, gorgeous plant. And it was from my father's wake, who I lost... Um, a few years back. So I was desperate to save it and although I didn't get any help from anybody, which I was kind of sad about, um, I did keep watching plant videos till I came across something that I found interesting and it was Epsom salt. Um, and in the video they said that the Epsom will help the roots to open up and be able to take in nutrients. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I'm just repeating what I heard. But I did try it, and it, I did it twice. I put a tablespoon of Epsom salt in a gallon jug of water and mixed it up really good, shook it up. And I used it to water my plant, and then I let it dry out to where the leaves were, were starting to wilt and then I used it again. So I only used it on two waterings and then after that I went back to regular um, distilled water which by the way is all I use on this is distilled water and I keep that down here in my old lemonade jar um, so that it is room temperature when I'm ready to use it. Okay, so very, very happy that this plant is still with me. Um, and then the other plant we have here is the gold dust, and there is another name for it. It just gave to me right at the moment. Um, that only had two leaves on it, and it was like in, in a two-inch pot when I bought it just a few months ago, and that is growing like crazy. So I'm excited about that. And then down in the bottom, I have my Aglionema, another very pretty showy plant. And she's doing just fine down there. I was afraid it wasn't enough light, but it seems to be plenty. I'm getting new shoots, as you can see, little new leaves. That's pretty much it on this shelf for now. I do have some things I want to do and rearrange and add and subtract and well I'm sure you all can relate to that. Oh and then this light um, my hubby welded a um, bracket on there. That's not quite finished either but it works for now to house the light that I have. And what's great about the way he did this is I'm able to move the light either way, this way, that way, bring it out. I can bring the light down, all the way down.
wherever I need the light. Or all the way up. And we're thinking about putting another one on the other side, right there, to cover the other half of it. And then the last plant on this wall, and certainly not least, um, I told you earlier that I lost my dad. It was five, it'll be six years in August. Um, that same year in May, we lost my mother-in-law. So it was a very, very, very sad and upsetting year for us. <clears throat> this plant came from my mother-in-law's wake. And we brought it home. and It was about three feet tall and very full. And I had it for about two years. And all of a sudden it started losing its leaves. I don't know why. I still don't know what was wrong with it. But I moved it around until I found a spot it liked. And again, I used the Epsom salt. And we added the bamboo um, for it to have something to climb up. And now it's very full. And as you can see, this is a golden pothos, for those of you who don't know. And that leaf is pretty big, the size of my hand. It does have something on it that maybe my plant friends could help me with because I've been researching it for a long time and just can't seem to find the answers. Hopefully you can see this. It's like golden speckles. It. I thought it was some kind of fungus, but I can't find it under fungus. It's not on all the leaves, but it is on some of the new growth. But there are no bugs. Um, when spring comes, I'm going to have hubby help me replant this um, because it's been in the same dirt for about five years. So I'm hoping that maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know, but if anybody has any ideas, Please, please comment and let me know. And I promise if you're wrong, I won't hold it against you. But I could use some feedback, okay? All right, so that's it. Oh, before I go, I just have to include this. This is a... Um, a painting that my granddaughter did. She's now 23, <laughs> but she did it when she was, I believe she was 10 or 11 years old. And I framed it with a frame from the thrift store, and it's been hanging there ever since. And that's it for this wall. I hope this wasn't too shaky for you folks. I just remind you that I'm still fairly new at this, very new at this actually. And, well, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Alrighty.
I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I look forward to hearing from you. If you'd like to see more videos, please hit like and subscribe. If you have any ideas of what you'd like to see me do, I'm certainly open to that. In the meantime, I wish you all well, and we'll see you again. Thank you. Bye now.